today we're going to be making a really cute little knitted bunny. Um, the things that you need to have already done before this project starts is you need to have a piece of knitting, basically. Um, I used some really big bulky yarn and a size 13 needle and it, what you're going to do is cast on 24 stitches and knit back and forth until you have a square. You'll be knitting approximately 48 rows. The other thing that you need to have done already is to have a little pom-pom made because that's the bunny's tail. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sew on the knitted piece to form the bunny. Um, I'm using some red yarn to show you where I'm going to sew on the knitted piece just for the video sake, but you should use matching yarn color because you don't want it to be different. So just know that. So the first thing that you're gonna do is, so you're just gonna sew a running stitch down the center of your square. And I'm taking pretty big stitches. Okay, so once you have your running stitch down the middle, you're going to do another running stitch in like a, you're starting to make a triangle. So I'm going to aim for about the center of that. So my center is about right there. And I'm gonna do another running stitch up to the center. So I'm now at the top of my triangle and I'm going to come down. So I'm coming down to my first line that I stitched. So there's my triangle. The next thing I'm going to do is pull the yarn and that's going to start to form the ears of the bunny and the head. So I'm just pulling my yarn. And it just kind of forms into shape like that. Then I'm going to grab some stuffing and stuff in the head. So put as much stuffing as you want. It won't take a ton. But just kind of to fill out, to make the head like that. And you're gonna really pull that yarn together. This is why it's good to have matching yarn because so you can't see. I'm gonna really pull it tight and then I'm gonna take a stitch so I connect the back of the head together. Reform one of those little ears a little bit. So I'm gonna stitch that together. Then I'm going to continue stitching down the back. So just put your edges together and you're doing like a whip stitch. So you're just kind of going one side to the next side and just sewing that seam up together.
Once you're done sewing up that back seam, you're going to take your thread or your yarn and you're going to do a running stitch just around the base of the circular part because you're going to want that after you stuff it, you're going to want it to draw together and gather up. So see how like when I pull that, that starts to come together. I'll come all the way around here. Okay, and before I pull that together, I'm going to take some stuffing and stuff the body of this bunny. And again, just as much stuffing as you want. However fat you want your bunny to be. That's probably good. So, I'm pretty good with that. So now I'm gonna just pull that together. And I'm gonna give it a little stitch just to hold it and at this point since I'm already here I'm gonna take my pom-pom that I made and put my tail on since I'm at the tail part so I cut those extra pom-pom ties off and I'm just gonna slide my needle through the middle of my pom-pom stitch that on. Just give it a few stitches. Just until that seems like that's going to hold. So once the tail is on, then you're just going to make sure that it's secure and do and tie it off and then cut your yarn. So you're all done with that. And again, so this is why it's important to use matching yarn because my bunny has like red stitches on his spine. So you probably, unless you do want that. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is put the um, buttons on for the face and just figure out where you want the eyes to go. So I want one eye here. So when I sew these eyes on, since this is already a round shape, I have to go through the hole of the button and then through the head. And I'm going to try to not pull this too tight so my knot doesn't pull through. And then to up through the hole of the button and then down through the other hole and through the head. So this is a little bit different than sewing a button on something flat. Just kind of have to scoop it through. And do that um, maybe four or five times. sew my other button on about right there for my other eye. Do that. Now I'm going to sew this other eye on right here. I'm going to scoop my thread through. I'm not pulling really tight because I don't want to I don't want to pull really hard because I don't want to pull my knot through. So I'm actually going to take another stitch just to make a loop around the yarn. And again, you're going to go through the hole, scoop through the head, and then up through the other hole. Down through the holes, take a 
a scoop of the head. That sounds bad, huh? Take a scoop of the head. <laughs> a scoop of eye, a scoop of head. Okay, so that's pretty sewn on there pretty well. So now I'm gonna take my last scoop through and I'm gonna tie it off. So when I tie off, I'm just gonna go underneath my button and before I pull my stitch all the way through, I'm gonna go through the loop and pull it tight. That kind of forms a knot. So I'm gonna do that twice. that. And I'm going to cut my extra thread. So now this bunny has some eyes and I'm just going to sew a little nose and then call it good. So I'm going to sew this little bunny's nose on about right there. And this is just kind of like all you're really doing is just sewing a whole whole bunch of times until the nose is as big as you want it to be. I'm going to snip this off, the little end of my knot. And I'm just going to go basically doing another whip stitch just around and around and around many, many times until the nose is about the size and shape that I want it to be. So there's its little nose on there and this little bunny's all done. So go ahead and try your hand at making a little knitted bunny. It's really fun and really squishy. Bye.